Hello everyone. Today in this post, we are talking about the charges. We know charge is a property of a material because of which it attracts or repels the other bodies. We know the charges are of two types, positive and negative charges. Charge is a scalar quantity. It is measured with a unit called something like Coulomb. And we also know that charge uh, follows a property called something like what is that called quantization. What do you mean by quantization of the charge? Charge is always transferred from one body to another body in terms of integral multiples of electrons Q equal to Ne. Say for example, a body is having a charge 1 Coulomb. Coulomb is a unit of the charge. A body is having a charge of 1 Coulomb. If it is having a charge of 1 Coulomb, I would like to know how many extra electrons that it has. How many extra electrons it has, provided the charge is a negative charge. Or if the body is a positively charged body, how many less electrons that it has when compared with the positive charges. That is what I want to know. I will deal it basing on the quantization of the charge concept Q equal to Ne. I am just now saying that charge is 1 Coulomb. How many electrons? I also know that the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 Coulombs. That implies the number of the electrons is 1 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. That is 10 power plus 19 by 1.6 or 0.625 into 10 power 19 or 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons. So, see the huge number that is involved just for one Coulomb charge it need to have a electrons of extra electrons of 6.25 into 10 power 18. So, whenever we say charge we mean to say excess charge because by, de by default all the bodies are neutral they have equal number of electrons and protons and we do not feel any of their charge because they are neutral bodies. When we say a body is charged it means to say that it is having a extra charge, extra charge because of the transfer of the electrons from one body to another body as it was being told it is always the electrons that transfer from one body to another body, protons will never get transferred because they are strongly bounded inside the nucleus. right? So, this is a small uh, point that I want to tell you in this case that uh, one Coulomb is uh, this many electrons. Of course, we know that uh, the SI unit of the charge is Coulomb, its dimensional formula basing on the definition something like q equal to i t. It has a dimensional formula of i is shown with i itself t and um, it is a scalar quantity. It is not having any direction or we do not need a direction to understand the charge. We can understand with the magnitude itself. That is it. We will continue this video lesson further. Right. Thank you.